In classical mechanics, we can make accurate predictions about the position, velocity and energy of a particle. This is because we have something called the Newton's second law whose solution gives us complete information about the trajectory of a particle. On the other hand, in quantum mechanics, we have something called the Schrodinger equation which gives us a wave function solution. This wave function solution may look like this for different kinds of quantum mechanical systems. They are not physical but they may be associated with some physical information. For example, if we look at the infinite square well potential which is just a particle going back and forth between two hard walls, one of those solutions may look something like this. If a particle is in this state, its energy level has a very distinct value and it is very likely to be found in these three distinct regions which is known as position probability density. But the thing is the Schrodinger equation gives us infinite such solutions having infinite different distinct energy levels and their corresponding position probability densities. So the question is the particle is in which energy level? Well, it's like asking your wife what she wants to have for dinner. It's not that simple. You see, before making a measurement, the system exists in a superposition of all possible Schrodinger equation solutions. And only the measurement can reveal to us whether the particle is in one state or another. It's like throwing a dice. Before throwing a dice, we cannot really predict which face I'm going to get. However, if I throw a large number of dice together, I can give a probabilistic prediction of how many number of times I might get a certain face. So imagine that the dice before being thrown is in a linear superposition of all of these faces. To give a practical example, let's take the hydrogen atom, which classically we can think of as an electron going around a nucleus. However, in quantum mechanics, the hydrogen atom potential is associated with a large number of mathematical solutions. All these solutions correspond to distinct energy levels and their corresponding position probability densities. Before making a measurement, the hydrogen atom is in a superposition position of all possible states. Only when we make a measurement of similar hydrogen atoms, it is revealed to us which atom is in which exact state and therefore has a corresponding energy level and probability density. So we can only make a probabilistic prediction. Quantum mechanics offers us no more, no less.